What is going on guys? My name is 4G or on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today I have a quick video to go over when it comes to Modern Warfare 2 2022 Season 4 and how it's kind of just a slap in the face to multiplayer fans, of course, as per usual. Everything when it comes to Call of Duty now is centered around Warzone. So if you play Warzone, I'm sure you're having a fantastic time today because there's some pretty good big changes to Warzone that was needed for a long time. Um, but unfortunately, multiplayer just didn't get any of that, man. It didn't get any of that whatsoever. And I think that that is just kind of unacceptable. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with this. The reason for it is quite simple, and we'll go over it in a bit, because this makes a lot of sense as to why they are not doing anything for multiplayer, uh, and I'm sure you can guess why, but we're going to go into it either way. But basically, what Warzone got that multiplayer didn't was they actually got a TTK increase. So they changed it from 100 health to 150 health, and that is huge. Now you could say it's just because of the Battle Royale, but I'm not saying they have to increase it that much in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, but man, is the time to kill so short right now now in the game and it's just it's not fun to play against like that it really isn't but not only that but there's a lot of changes that are pretty required uh still to this day like uh, they could have reworked the timed perk system they could have added red dots on the mini map i mean how difficult is that to do there was a setting in private match at the beginning of the game when it first came out to turn on red dots normally they removed it from private match of course because people found it and realized how easy it is to just flip a switch quite literally they can fix the footstep audio there's just so much stuff that would make this game so much better. That is why I'm still talking about it. I'm still upset about this. It could be a way better game if they just tweaked a couple things, increase the time to kill a bit, add red dots on the minimap, add dead silence or ninja as a perk, or at the very least, reduce the audio that this game has so we are not encouraging camping still it's not as bad as Modern Warfare 2019 but it's still pretty slow man especially if you play shipment a lot and then you go back to regular 6v6 you're just running around the map trying to find people for 20 minutes it's not fun all of that for like 15 kills just not the great experience that uh, Call of Duty used to be now there is 10v10 now they're making that a permanent mode so I'm gonna go into some good things real quick before I go into the the reasonings why I think they haven't made any big changes um but right now they added 10v10 as a permanent option that's good the only thing is it's like you shouldn't need to play 10v10 to have a fast-paced call of duty game or like a, a well-paced call of duty game is a better way to put it it doesn't need to be super fast-paced exosuit game like we've seen in the past it's just a good flow state call of duty where there's just constant action and red dots on the mini map added that because people would see that and you would get an understanding of where other people are on the map and if you didn't want to have that and you didn't want to show up on the map you would put a suppressor on you'd have to have that downside which would then reduce your damage from a range all this stuff there's a balance to it and that balance is just thrown out the window with this game with modern warfare 2019 even with vanguard to an extent but at the very least that game had a perk to allow red dots to show up on the minimap when people fired an unsuppressed weapon. But anyways, we have 10v10 now. That's pretty good, all right? I like that. I will be playing that from now on instead of just always shipment because right now all I'm playing is shipment whenever that's in the game, which is most of the time now because they realize that most people don't want to play unless shipment is in the game, which is just because the maps are usually pretty abysmal. Now, speaking of maps, all right, we're going to give them a little bit of a, a pat on the back for once, all right? We're going to give them a little bit of some positivity, okay? I think showdown even though i wasn't a massive fan of this map in cod 4 not saying it was bad or anything i just i didn't think it was anything special i think it actually plays pretty well in this game which is shocking because in model for 2019 they added all these old maps and they just completely ruined them like backlot just nah man why would you add extra spaces and extend the map and make it bigger more camping spots more safe spaces no thank you dude i don't want that in my classic maps if you're gonna put that in new maps whatever i just still don't like that but at the very least it's a new map that you designed from scratch this is an old map and you're adding new stuff to it they didn't do that with showdown as far as i'm aware i only played one match on it it was pretty quick hopped in it was against a bunch of sweats of course as per usual but but that's fine i'm i'm kind of used to that by now at this point with these games but yeah showdown it's not the best map like i said but it plays surprisingly fast paced i think that has a lot to do with the spawn system as well maybe the spawn system is a little better on this map I don't know, but I will say this map was the absolute GOAT back in COD 4, the original COD 4, where you could do old school glitches using RPG to get up on the roof. 
good times, man. Those were some fun times back in the day. I'm not saying I played it back in 2007, uh, but I picked it up a few years later in like 2011, 2012, around then, and uh, played it with friends back then on the 360. But anyways, there's also a brand new map, and this one is interesting. I, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> because it takes some time for me to really understand if I like a map or not. I gotta play on it multiple times, and I've only played on either of these two new maps. Well, Showdown's not new, but you know what I mean. New for Modern Warfare 2 2022. I've played on either of these maps a total of one time for each map. So far, I'm liking them surprisingly in this game. I didn't think I would. I thought Showdown would be a much slower pace, and I thought this new map would be a, a massive disaster because it's a massive map. Well, this one's not, but I thought it would be a massive map. It, it's a decently sized map for once. It's hard for me to judge right off the bat, but I will say that these two maps so far are decent, which is shocking. Why do we have to wait until season four for them to start putting out like decent maps and stuff to these games and stuff like that? So yeah, the content of it is all right, whatever. There's a new black cell bundle. Please don't buy that crap. Please don't. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to, whatever your money but i definitely advise against that because uh first of all it's just the exact same skins as last season just it's just the new skins of season four but black and gold just like it was last season wow so you're spending another 30 bucks to do that again that same stuff to get the chance of that by the way you don't get it right away you don't there's no guarantee unless you buy all 100 tiers to get all that stuff it's just i don't know man i don't understand why this stuff is purchased i don't get it but either way moving on but either way why are they not going to make any significant changes to multiplayer but they will to warzone well it's pretty simple warzone is going to be around for at least a couple years on this engine this version of the game just like it was for modern warfare 2019 we played warzone on that game for three years even when new games like black ops cold war and vanguard came out they still kept warzone on that engine so they're making changes to Modern Warfare 2 2022's Warzone side because, of course, uh, that is going to be played for years to come. Whereas Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, couple months, they're get, we're getting Modern Warfare 3, which is exactly what they're going to do. Uh, they're just going to drop that, and that's probably where they're going to fix all the issues. Maybe I'm thinking too highly of it. I don't know, but it's made by Sledgehammer, and that's I think that's another big thing. The multiplayer, I believe, is primarily designed and directed by Raven, not Infinity Ward, and that's a big, big thing because Raven actually knows what they're doing, and Infinity Ward thinks they know what they're doing, but they don't, and they just make this trash. It's just. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Not much else to talk about when it comes to this. Season 4 is uh, its interesting so far, but kind of disappointing as a multiplayer fan. I will say that for sure. Uh, I do like the maps, like I said. I haven't tried the new weapons because, of course, I'm not buying tiers. And I'm not at tier 15 or 30 or whatever the equivalent is in this game. That's how it used to be in the previous Call of Duty games. I'm assuming it's the same thing. But I don't know, because they had to copy Fortnite and, and change up the Battle Pass system to make it all this, this big mashup of... Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed enjoyed it, like it would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.